Hello. At the end of the week, lots of people all around the world are going to be celebrating a special time of year called Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year started a long, long time ago. And I've got a story here today that explains how it all started. This story is called The Great Race. Are you ready to listen and look? Many moons ago, the people of China had no calendar. They had no way to measure time and nobody could tell one year from the next. Something must be done, said the Jade Emperor, the King of Heaven. I will start a calendar and name each year after a different animal. But how can I choose which order the animals should come in? I'll have a race, the Jade Emperor decided. Yes, a swimming race across the wide river. I will name the years in the order that the animals finish the race. The first year of our new calendar will be named after the winner. He invited every animal in the kingdom to be in the race. Well, back then, the cat and the rat were the very best of friends. They travelled to the river together in great excitement. But when they arrived, their spirits dropped. That river was strong and very fast. It rushed past with a deafening roar. And just look at all the other animals, said the cat. Here are some of the animals who have come to join the race. High above them, circling in the sky, there was a creature with the head of a camel, the horns of a deer, the long beard, and with eyes of fire. Any ideas what it is? What could this animal be? It's a dragon. Below him, is this stripy animal. I wonder what this is. It's a tiger. Swinging from tree to tree was a monkey, chattering with excitement. And somewhere, here we are, wrapped around a branch was a snake. Rat thought the snake looked very calm. Maybe the snake thinks a race in a river will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. There was an ox waiting patiently. There was a pig happily playing in the mud. Dog bounded around wagging his tail. Who is this animal? Now it looks like a rabbit, but it's got bigger ears and different back legs. This is called a hare. Not this kind of hare, this kind of hare. The hare was gazing up at the moon, which is still just about visible in the sky. Sheep sat watching the cockerel preen his fine feathers and horse stamped his hooves and shook his glossy mane. What kind of noise does a horse make? Nay, nay! I'm the smallest animal here, said the rat. We'll never win, said the cat. But the rat was silent. His whiskers flickered 
and his tail twitched and there was a gleam in his beady eye. Wait here, he said. I've got a plan. Rat sidled up to the ox. How fine and strong you are, ox, he said. Your back is so big, I'm sure you could easily carry one or even two small animals across the river. Cat and I would love a lift. Of course, dear rat, the ox replied. You can depend on me. And so the rat and the cat climbed on the ox's back. The Jade Emperor was ready to start the race. Ready. Steady. Go, said the Jade Emperor. Oh, very tricky to turn the page. I need to use my fingers and my thumbs carefully. There we are. There was a great squawking and bleating and snorting as all the animals jumped into the water. The ox swam sure and steady. It was such a smooth ride that the cat curled up between the ox's shoulders. He closed his eyes and began to purr. Can you purr? It's a funny sound. Rat could see the pig still relaxing near the shore. And soon they passed the dog who was just playing in the water. Come on, ox, said the rat. Maybe they're going to win. Meanwhile, the cockerel had spotted something. We could use it as a raft, he said. Come on up, he called to the sheep and the monkey. This looks fun, monkey shrieked as he sprang on board. Are you sure it's safe, sheep asked, clambering up. Rat watched, watched the raft wobbling as the ox swam past them. They're going this way, look, and they're passing all those other animals. The ox is doing really well. Overhead, the dragon curled through the clouds. He was too big to swim in the river, so the emperor had told him to race through the sky, braving the winds instead. We're getting closer, Ox, shouted Rat. Keep going. Ox swam on, sure and steady. This doesn't look very fair, does it? Ox is doing all the work. Cat's fast asleep. A rat's just standing there, not helping. I don't think that really is good amethyst power, is it? They're just letting somebody else do all the work. Now they were catching up with Hare. Hare had sat gazing at the silvery moon for a long time and it had given her an idea. She was hopping from round grey stone to round grey stone across the river. Oh, maybe the moon in the sky gave her that idea. And here's Tiger using all his strength to battle through the current. The ox swam on, sure and steady. Now we're in the lead, cried Rat. Rat could just see the Jade Emperor waiting on the shore. He looked down at the cat, still snoozing in the sun. Lazy animal, he thought to himself. He'll have all his energy left when we arrive. He'll be able to run really fast and he'll get to the finish line before me. Do you know what he did? Quick! As a wink. Ooh, that's a good phrase. Quick as a wink. Here's a wink. It's fast, isn't it? Watch again. Watch my eye. A wink is really fast. Quick as a wink, Rat saw his chance. He sneaked up behind the cat and he's going to do. What will the rat do to that cat? Any ideas? Rat really wants to win the race. I hope he's going to be fair. Oh. Splosh! The rat pushed
pushed the cat into the water. Ox turned round to see what had made the splash. He couldn't see the cat, but he could see all the other animals and they were getting closer. So the ox swam onwards. And just as the ox was about to step onto the dry land, I wonder what's going to happen. Do you think the ox is going to win? It's a big race. Down leapt the rat and he got into first place. The winner, the Jade Emperor declared. The first year of the calendar will be named after the rat. Close behind came the ox, lumbering into second place. He couldn't believe his eyes when he saw Rat was there already. What? How did Rat get there faster than me? Rat might be small, but he is also very smart, the Jade Emperor laughed. Sometimes people say smart when they mean clever. Soon after, the tiger streaked past. You're third, the Jade Emperor said. Next came the hare. Then the dragon swooped out of the sky into fifth place. The horse was just about to get onto dry land when from between his feet out slithered the snake. Excuse me, horse said the snake. And then came the horse in seventh place. The sheep came in eighth place. The monkey came in ninth place. And the cockerel, here we are, came in tenth place. Dog was eleventh. And then came the pig. I just needed to stop for a snack, the pig explained. Pig! is the twelfth and last animal in the calendar, the Jade Emperor declared. Well done, everyone. You've each used your own special skills to cross the river. From now on, every child born in your year will share your talents. But what about the cat? The cat was still splashing and spluttering in the river. Do you remember? The cat got pushed in. He was trying to swim, but he hated the water. He just couldn't make it to the shore. And that is why there is no year of the cat in the Chinese calendar. And why to this very day, cat and rat are still the worst of enemies. They don't like each other. Never mind, said the Jade Emperor, as he fished the dripping cat out of the river. You tried your best. And that's what's important. Now, let's celebrate, he said. The Jade Emperor rewarded all the animals with a wonderful party. There was dancing, there was decorations, there was feasting and firecrackers, and the animals rejoiced and wished each other wealth, health and happiness. And that is how... Chinese New Year gets celebrated every year. That's why we celebrate. We're remembering the great race and how the calendar came to be in that order. It's been really nice seeing you. We'll join us again soon. Bye bye.